Hi Taurus, thank you so much for coming to your general reading. Um, this reading is for February 2019, it's for the entire month. We're going to go ahead and go over overall energy, career and finance, uh, relationships as a whole, so not necessarily just love, um, spiritual growth, and items to work on, okay? This should resonate for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, but it also could possibly resonate for um, your Jupiter, which has to do with luck and expansion, your Pluto, which is about transformation, and your Lilith, which is, you know, the darker side of our personality and something that we need to talk about. So it's something that we're keeping hidden from everybody else, okay? Um, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell if uh, you want to receive alerts when I post new videos. And if you want to book a personal reading, please check out my website. Um, the link is down below. It's not completely built out yet, but it is a work in prog uh, progress or process. Oh God, you know, I'm just not really great with words. I'm going to be honest. Um, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into your reading. So this is for Taurus for February, 2019. Taurus Overall energy for February 2019. Taurus, overall energy. Oh, Taurus, overall energy. Okay. So, you know what I like? I like when the cards, like when they'll flip out, like let's say like this flips out, right? And, and then it flips right back over. It's almost like, I know this is gonna sound like extremely weird, but it's almost like the universe is trying to pick the perfect card for you guys. And it's taking its time to go through everything to ensure that that message is completely clear, which I think is dope. <clears throat> okay, let's do career and finance for Taurus. Career and finance, February 2019 for Taurus. Career and finance for Taurus. Yes, the sun. All right, I love that. I think that's beautiful. All right, so now let's talk about relationships. These are the Dorian Virtue uh, Romance Angel cards, I think. All right, relationships as a whole for Taurus, February 2019. Reconciliation, beautiful. Let's see, maybe I should move these down right there. Okay. So for your guys' uh, spiritual growth and wellness, and this is just talking about like spiritually, how do we progress? How do we level up? Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the Heal Yourself cards. These are pretty dope. My mom gave me these. Maybe she was trying to tell me something, you know, who the hell knows. Okay. What is Taurus' spiritual advice for February? So spiritual advice for February. Okay, pay attention to signs. All right. And last but not least, um, my absolute favorite deck, actually. You guys probably, I don't know if I showed it during your reading. This is a dark mirror deck. So this deck is dope because it talks about things that we need to work on that we've suppressed. Things that are in the dark that need to come up to the light. And it's mostly things that people really don't necessarily know about us. But um, that doesn't mean that we're not going through it, right? Okay. What is the item that Taurus needs to work on for February 2019? What does Taurus need to bring to the light in February 2019? Masquerade. Okay. Move my cactus. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay. So, give me a second to look at all the cards because I want to make sure that giving you guys um the right messages okay so first things first i do feel like this month is going to be really good for you guys okay 
I do sense that heavily, right? You guys have the Knight of Cups, the Sun. We're reconciling. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, I do feel like um, there's a lot of surprises this month for you. But I also feel like, you know, you've earned that, right? It's like you guys have been working really hard. You guys have been busting your ass. And... You're in a place where, you know, things are good. Either you're giving or someone else is giving. You guys are in a very loving mood. Um, you know, it, it's, you know, possible Valentine's Day is coming around the corner, right? It, it's a very, like, nostalgic period for you. And this could have to do with the fact that work's going well. You know, whatever relationship you were stressing on, whether it was, like, you haven't spoke to your mom, you haven't spoke to your dad or a significant other, it's like this is a time where reconciliation is, is I feel like it starts with you though, right? Um, and I feel like you're making those efforts and allowing this person to return. And I think it's making you really happy. This could also be a job that's returning, right? A job that you worked at prior. Um, but, you know, I just feel overall... It's a very, very good month. It's a month filled with like emotional um, fulfillment. So I personally think that that's beautiful. Now, looking at your guys' job situation or your finance, you guys are in the good, right? You're like, shit, my credit's up. Um, you know, taxes are coming in. My job is bomb. You know, you guys are in a period where you're extremely happy and you're glowing. Um... I do feel like uh, during summertime, there's going to be a big surprise for you. Um, when it comes to work, definitely feel that. Either you guys are, um, you know, given some type of award or accolade or something to that extent. Like, your work right now, it's shining. It's shining brighter than I think it has in the past. And you guys have always worked hard, but I don't necessarily know if they appreciated how much work you guys put into it. So this is beautiful, right? This could also be your boss offering you a bonus, right? And it's surprising you and you're like, God damn right, I, I earned that money. Now let me go buy a pair of shoes. You know, like, you know, whatever. But but you're in a, you're in a good space financially and um, career-wise, okay? So for your card, you guys actually have reconciliation um, for, your, for your relationships. And I think that's dope. And I think somebody else may have got reconciliation. But um, sometimes this is about, you know, allowing the past to be the past and, and letting somebody back in. You know what I mean? But however, you also need to be uh, paying attention to the red flags because there are signs that are telling you, you know, big signs that are coming from the universe that are saying like, hey, this isn't good or hey, this is that this is okay to go through. Okay. So, you know, I, I do think that this is that this is a good thing for the reconciliation. I think it's you've been really hurt in the past about it, and you almost feel like you were left out to dry. Um, possibly could be from, you know, a father figure or, you know, a lover. And I feel like you've been in a space where you've been waiting um, for things to settle down. And, you know, you guys probably had a fight and it just blew up bigger than what it was supposed to. And now it's like you guys are coming back together. Okay. Now for your, um, and hopefully that makes sense. But, you know, with reconciliation, it could be reconciliation with family. Maybe you got an argument with your child. You know, it's about coming back to a place where you're able to move forward with this person. Or forgive this person and understand that, you know, you guys come together, you talk about it, but you realize, like, there's nothing there. But you no longer have that hurt holding you behind. Okay? Um... Now you guys have pay attention to signs. So this is kind of interesting too, only because it's asking you guys to pay attention. You know, not all signs, not all red flags, not, I mean, they're not all bad. It could be telling you, 
hey, go this way. Hey, talk to this person. Hey, this is this or that is that, right? Um, it's just asking you to pay attention, like take a step back and really look around. And you know, the universe is definitely talking to you, okay? So they just want you to pay attention to the fact that, that they are, you know, directing certain messages your way. Now for what you guys need to work on, you guys have the masquerade, okay? Now this is what we're suppressing. So sometimes, right, especially since um, you guys are a fixed sign, right? And you guys are all about growth and growing, um, about productivity and stability and, you know, everything has its place, right? You have to be careful because Sometimes, you know, like a masquerade ball, everybody does the same dance, right? It's like they turn, they turn the other way, they, you know, I, I don't know really what they do in the ball, but the dance is the same, right? But eventually that dance has to end and it shouldn't be start becoming part of you. So like, I don't know if this is a guy or a girl, but um, it's like the feathers and the um, actual mask is growing out of his head now because he's continued to stay in the same pattern, the same thing. So um, I feel like they're telling you that with all your productivity, right, and how stable you guys are, it's okay if you stray from that and like take a day to relax, take a day to go to the beach, you know, take a day off from work, you know, take time to yourself and break some of these um, strict, you know, guidelines and boundaries that, that we've forced on ourselves, because that's ultimately going to refuel your fire. Okay. So with that being said, Taurus, um, that is your general reading. Hopefully this resonates. Um, the love readings will be coming back um, in a couple of days. And um, your next general read uh, will be back in uh, March. So again, um, thank you so much for coming and watching. I appreciate it. And until the next time, talk to you guys later. Bye.